What is up everybody? My name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed and in today's video I want to talk to you guys about how much money I made from selling my vending machine business and a little bit later on in the video I'm gonna let you guys know what I would do differently if I could go back in time and kind of redo everything. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into this one. So I've had my vending machine business for about three and a half years. At the peak of my vending business I had eight locations which is not large by any stretch of the imagination but for those of you who have been with the channel for a while you guys know that I like to diversify my income. I like to keep things interesting and I don't don't like to just be in one field I like to be kind of diverse and have my money spread out so because of that I had eight locations three of which I got kicked out of now I made a video on this there were three mechanic shops that I was in and I leveraged each of them starting with the first one because I was flipping cars and bringing a lot of cars to them and I said why don't y'all let me put a machine in it and once I got into one I kind of used the people that I knew at the one to get into the other two however they ended up selling out to another company once the new company came in I knew no one and unfortunately, I got kicked out of three locations. It's just part of the business. It's part of how things go. Now, I wish I would have sold them before I got kicked out, but that's just the way things go. So the three locations that I have sold so far is I've sold a bank location for $1,300. I sold a real estate location, $1,200. And then I sold one of my retirement communities for $2,200. So, so far I've sold three locations. I got kicked out of three and I have two locations remaining, which I'm going to be selling in the next month or two. So from the three locations that I sold, I made $4,700. And from the two other retirement homes, I'm also going to sell those for $2,200 each. All in all, the vending machine business for the five locations that I did sell will be worth $9,100. Reason that I'm selling the vending business is because honestly, I just feel like I can make more money elsewhere. I moved uh, about an hour away because of school, and I do travel back and forth for work for pressure washing and. Um, landscaping and things like that however I just I'm tired of doing the vending business I'm tired of going to Sam's tired of filling tired of moving machines tired of things going wrong and I can make a whole video on the bad side of vending but I don't want to be pessimistic with this because the vending business was good for me for a while and it taught me a lot of different things taught me how to manage my customers because Sometimes things go wrong in the machine. Sometimes people are ugly. So it kind of taught me how to manage that. It taught me, you know, responsibility, sticking with something. For the past three and a half years, I've filled these machines um, on every week or to every two weeks. Responsibility. I've learned it. I'm just kind of tired of the vending business and I'm just ready to get out. I'm not getting enough returns and I'm going to do something else with my money, which I'm going to tell you guys here in a second. But what I would do differently if I could go back and start it all over again, what I would do differently is I would have gotten myself into locations. I would have serviced the locations for about a month. But as soon as I got in them, I would have posted them up for sale. So like, let's say I got my bank location. I would have put the machines in, started servicing it, but I would have had it up for sale for a higher, pro for a higher price. So maybe I could have got $1,500 for it after you know being in it for two months and then I could have got rid of it and then I could have just found another location so if I would have redone my vending business I would have really focused on just flipping locations and just managing them in the meantime because honestly in my opinion I feel like you know people want to get into this business they don't want to move the machines they don't really want to have to look, put in the work to find the location so if you just give them a location they're willing to pay a higher dollar for it so you have markup on the machines markup on the location and all in all you can just make more money faster and you don't have to wait for the revenue to come in on the snacks um, in order to pay back the machine. So if I were to redo everything, that's what I would do. I would get locations, put machines on them, and then I'd just sell off the locations and fill them until they sold. So for anybody wanting to do that, I think that's a great idea. I really wish I would have done that, but maybe I'll do it in the future. Who knows? Because let's be honest, for somebody wanting to get into the business, it's quite daunting just to like walk into locations, find locations, or speak the jargon, or you know, have any credibility whatsoever just because they don't have any locations. So I think that there's a spot in the market for somebody to do that and for somebody to make some good money off of that. So what I'm going to do with all the money that was earned, I also sold my van for $4,000. So that kind of gives me, once everything sold, about $13,000 uh, liquid cash. But I also have some machines that are also in the warehouse, which... I'll show you guys those in a future video. I'm selling the rest of those off. What I'm going to do with all that money is I'm looking to flip more vehicles. Right now, I currently have um, a car, which is a Honda Civic that we're flipping. I just flipped a Chevy Cobalt, I believe, if you guys watched my last flipping video. And then we also just picked up another Ranger. So you guys can look forward to more flipping videos coming on the channel. Unfortunately, people who subscribe for the vending videos, I will not have as many of those. But who knows, in the future, I might flip locations like I was saying before. So... 
Um, what I'm also going to be doing with the extra cash is I'm going to be trying to build a food truck. I have a concession business, but currently it's being run from a trailer, which was being pulled with the van. I no longer have the van and the season for the food truck business is kind of winding down to an end here. So over the off months, over like the winter months, I'm going to sell the trailer and that money will be used to buy a food truck or just buy like a box truck and convert it into a food truck so you guys can definitely look forward to that you know i'll bring you guys all that content as i'm building out the food truck so what i would do different i would flip locations instead of servicing them it just takes too long um and it's just too much of a headache in my opinion you know this is a good way to go for a lot of people and like i said for younger people it teaches them it teaches them responsibility and different things and i know i have a lot of vending channels that follow this channel a lot of vending channels that have children who are trying to teach those children responsibility and entrepreneurship and i think that it's an excellent thing for that it certainly taught me a lot but i'm just ready to get out i'm ready to move on so with that being said if you guys like to support me definitely hit the thumbs up button leave something down in the comment section for me and uh subscribe to the channel uh, i have amazon links down below if you click there and purchase anything within a 24-hour period i'll get a small commission if you guys want to do a one-on-one -on -one phone coaching session session on vending on flipping cars on landscaping pressure washing getting business you guys can find that down below i do one-on-one -on -one consultation calls uh, if you like merch I got merch down below as well. So if you guys like support the channel, I greatly appreciate it. If not, thank you so much for watching this far on the video. My name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed. And until next time, hustle hard and get that money. God bless. Peace.